Mix 104.9. Coyote Country latest by Luke Combs. Beer never broke my heart. I'm Robert McGill. Good morning. The time is 9.04. Foggy, misty, and 77 degrees. Today, looking at partly sunny, high 94. And then tonight, mostly cloudy, low 75. Uh, tomorrow, Thursday, partly sunny with a high of 93. Then Thursday night, mostly cloudy, low 74. And Friday, partly sunny, high 90. And then Friday night, mostly cloudy, low 73. Looking like a pretty good day in here because we got a special in-studio guest. we got uh, Drew Moreland. Good morning, sir. Hey, how are you? I'm good, man. Now, you are, I don't really know. I'm going to say this right now. <laughs> you were kind of just a, a working musician. You just walked on in this morning and said, hey, man, I play guitar. I got a record, and I want to be on the radio, right? That's right, man. I'm heading out to West Texas this week to play a, a string of shows. Uh, we've been playing out there a lot, and I figured I'd just swing south and uh, say hey to y'all here in Uvalde. Now, now of course, uh, Drew Moreland here. You're out of San Antonio, is that right? Uh, San Antonio area. I actually live in Marion now, which okay. is near New Braunfels. It's a tiny little town. It's nice and quiet. I love it out there. Looking forward to I'm going to New Braunfels this weekend. Just Heck yeah. On, taking my kids. The river's great right now. Oh, nice. All right. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, yeah, so you got a record. I know uh, you've emailed me. I just haven't had a chance to get on the radio. We play. We try to play as much Texas country artists Absolutely, as we can. Absolutely, yeah. So we do appreciate what you do. And I'm telling you what, man. Like I said, I, I got to preview your, your song. I haven't uh-huh. even listened to the whole thing yet. We're going to do that live on the radio here. Awesome. Share it with the audience here at KVOU Coyote Country. But, um, but yeah, I really, I kind of think it's cool that you just kind of walked in kind of like that 90s movie Airheads. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. With Brendan Fraser and... Uh, <laughs> Guitar in hand. <laughs> yeah. Little gift bag. Yeah. Play my record. Let's, yeah. Go, let's do this thing. So, yeah. yeah, so this is cool. So give us, give us your story, man. Again, that's Drew Moreland here in the studio. And uh, what's your upbringing in country music well man uh i hadn't done a whole lot of country music until uh about two years ago and before that i was guiding hunts in freer texas which is just south of here Uh and uh, spent a lot of time in the woods uh, was writing some music with my brother-in-law and decided um you know i had done music my whole life but never really given it a go and decided we had a batch of songs that was worth doing and uh, had to do it man so it's been a heck of a ride since then and uh have had several songs on the radio and it's just been a great time, man. Now, now, have you always been into country music specifically, or have you done a little this, a little that? Uh, what I've are done a lot of stuff. When I was younger, rock was it for me, yeah. you know, of course. I was and, say, you look uh, like a little bit of a rocker. Yeah, yeah. and uh, so country was kind of a surprise, but it's a format where you can get away with some really good storytelling, which is what I like most about country oh. music for sure, yeah. Well, very good. I see you brought your guitar there, and it's got a lot of stickers on it. It looks like you've been places. I've been on the road, yeah, for yeah. the last two years. So yeah. so tell me, you said you got a, some radio airplay in other places. Um, tell me tell me some of the, uh, I guess, you, your current or, or your past singles and, and that road as far as recording and putting those songs out. Sure, man. Um, the biggest single I've had so far uh, was called Bench Seat Revival. It's a song about riding in a truck and listening to old country music with your dad. And uh, when we wrote that... We didn't realize how universal of a story it was. You know, everybody listens to it. They had a a memory kind of like that. And so it was a a big hit on the radio last year. I think it was number 50 for all songs played on the Texas Country radio stations. Yeah, I was stoked about that. Very, very cool, man. Well, congratulations on that success. And it looks like you're working hard uh, doing it up. So have you ever played a gig out here in Uvalde County in this area? Uh, I have not. The closest would be in Freer. I go back to a tiny little bar there. Uh, That's my, like, South Texas mainstay. Uh, But, yeah. Well, man, we, maybe we can get you down in here and play House Pasture. I'd love to, man. Yeah. Lone Star Saloon, something like that. So, For sure. Well, again, I, I love that you're proactive. You just came over here and uh, came to give us a visit and play your record. You got your guitar, so maybe we get a performance out of you? Yeah, you can get a performance out of me for sure. Well, that's awesome. Now, uh, let's go ahead and play your single. It's called Roadstone. Again, we're talking to Drew Moreland here. And uh, tell us about the song before we, we get it on the uh, on Well, here. the song, uh, it's kind of a story about being on the road all the time. Um, I recorded it at my house. Uh, I live in a single-wide trailer and did uh, all the tracking there and editing myself. Well, you're going for an image, aren't you? I know. And, uh, <laughs> I love it. And then I got it uh, edited by BGM Studios in San Antonio, and it just came out amazing. So, I was so really you recorded happy it yourself, like engineered and, and everything? The whole album, yeah. So what is the training you have your background in in engineering and recording? Just coincidental, man. I spent enough time on computers and behind a soundboard growing up in church and stuff. I just happened to know all the right things to do. And I can't engineer anybody else's album very good because I don't have the patience for it. But for mine, it just came out. Well, I don't know. Isn't it amazing <laughs> technology these days? And, Absolutely. And you got a good ear, and you, you know, you know, a computer, you can do good a, ear, good mics, good preamps. That's all it took, you know. Wow. And, and then when you handed it over to the, I guess you, the mixers. Bill was so amazed at how little track noise I got. Uh, he was shocked. Actually, I was like, he asked me how I got such a clean recording, and I told him how I did it, and he's like, well, that's one way to do it. So you get a lot yeah. of insulation that yeah. double Y. Pretty much, yeah. I turned <laughs> off the AC. I did most of the recording about ten o'clock at night, and in uh, Marion, there's no highway noise or anything. The loudest is like the dogs barking 
parking next door, and that luckily didn't come on any tracks. So if we if we recorded a record here in Uvalde, all you hear is roosters and chickens in the background. Pretty much <laughs> that kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go ahead and get into the record again. Uh, it's uh, Drew Moreland here in the studio. Uh, before we play the record, go ahead and give us your incidentals, your your website. And it, you can find it. everything about me at drewmoreland.com. Uh, it has all my social media links there: Spotify, uh, iTunes, uh, Facebook, and Instagram. Yeah. Well, right again, let's check it out. It's Drew Moreland. It's called Road Stone. It's 104.9 Coyote Country. Been a long time coming, playing music for a living. I've met a lot of folks on the road. All the young ones want to be legends, and the old ones wish they were young. Sometimes it's hard to tell the folks who trust and those who shouldn't when you find your only friends are on the take. And it's easy to convince yourself that drinking ain't a problem till you wake up in the morning with the shakes. I drive on. Cause it's true what they say, there ain't no going home. I drive on. Yeah, the sun's coming up and my mind is in the zone. Chase me down, Lord knows what I'll do when the money runs out. Jones was great and so was straight, but the kids got a brand new sound. They disowned the kings of country and they took those records down. Well, I rock and roll with country soul and I'm never gonna stop. Just a nobody in Nashville. Do what they say, and music man's got no home. I drive on. I take one for the money and two before the show. It's 104.9 Coyote Country. That's Drew Moreland and Roadstone. We got Drew right here in the studio. Good morning, sir. And good morning to you, man. Man, great record, man. I can't believe you did that right in your double wide. Yeah, right? I was so excited how it came out. And again, that was the second time I tried to record myself and uh, just came out awesome. Yeah. So is that the plan to keep on recording yourself or, or, or you got plans to, to kind of get involved with more of like, uh, you know... I don't know, I guess a producer and, you know, engineers and, and kind of take your take your music to, you know, somebody that does that all the time. If I went to a studio, it would be more to get a, a different sound because mm-hmm. um, uh, when you do everything yourself, you kind of get yourself in a, in a rut maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm going to wait until 
this sound is maybe wore out and I want something different, but I'm planning to do the next one myself again and and uh, just have Bill produce it like we did last time. Well, no, it sounds real good. Uh, oh, especially, yeah. like I said, recorded in a, in a, in a mobile home. Yeah, for uh, sure, man. Wide. That's yep. nice. so, uh, so let's talk about your sound. I mean, you got a cool voice. you got a, a great sound there. What are your influences? What, what were those artists that really kind of helped put that thing together? Uh, when I was growing up, man, a lot of people asked me if I listened to classic country, and I, I really grew up more on uh, folk music like James Taylor, Paul Simon, uh, Dan Fogelberg, that kind of stuff, and that really influenced my songwriting and then as far as the sound well, it goes back to what you're talking about storytelling oh for sure yeah. yeah and then uh, more recently one of my inspirations to get into the scene at all was uh, listening to the turnpike troubadours oh very good yeah evan felker just writes a heck of a good story and uh Having a scene where those guys can be successful writing music that's that good, in my opinion, uh, really inspired me to take part in that. Yeah. Well, you come back around here next this Saturday, man. They're playing yeah. right down the road. That's what I heard on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very good. Well, again, we got Drew Moreland here. We just played his uh, new single called Roadstone. Uh, you've got some good success on your uh, last year, a uh, top 50 for the year, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, very good. So you got your guitar. You got it out. Looks like you're tuned up a little bit, right? I'm ready to go. Want to go do a little jam for us? Yeah, I'll go ahead and play uh, that song, Bench Seat Revival, for y'all. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Right on. Let's go again. Live in the studio. This is Drew Moreland on 104.9 Coyote Country. When I was a boy, my daddy owned a truck. He was covered in dance and dirt and even had a few holes in rust. Every Sunday morning, he'd roll out before dawn. Head on down some red dirt roads where I had never gone. And that old ranch seat was my church pew. And the gospel was taught from daddy's point of view. And Willie and Waylon, they sang in the choir. Somehow we held his coffee. And a lit cigarette And still pouring out the things we passed To tell me to surpass and Everything he said seemed to end in a country song By the time that sun was coming up I couldn't help but sing along And that old bench seat was my church pew And the gospel was taught from daddy's point of view and Merle and George Jones both sang in the choir. Well, if I could, you know, I'd take one more ride with him. To do a lot less talking, a lot more listening. So now it's... Sunday morning I drag her out of bed We go down some back roads Listening to his eight track cassettes And that old fantasy Is our church pew And the gospel is taught From daddy's point of view And Johnny and June They sing all Be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by. Man, all right. It's 104.9 Coyote Country. That's Drew Moreland. Man, you got everything in there. Waylon and Willie got some gospel. All the shout outs, yeah, for sure. Got some eight track tapes. Yeah. (laughs) That's a good country song, man. Nostalgia in a song, yeah. Oh, man, I love it, man. Uh, That's that's great stuff. Again, uh, it's Drew Moreland here in the KVOU studio. Thank you for swinging by, man, and stopping by to see us. Where would you say your next gig is? Where are you heading down to? Uh, We're heading to Midland. I got a a private party and then a gig at. I forget the name of the place. And then we're playing at Woody's Hideaway uh, on Saturday with well, the right full on. band. Yeah. So we're here in Uvalde. We're, you know, a little little outside of San Antonio. Where do you gig in San Antonio? Where's the place we can see you out there? Uh, in San Antonio, I play at Specs Country Store. Uh, that's just north of there. Uh, Tejas Rodeo. Okay. We play in uh, New Braunfels a lot since that's close to where I live. Uh, Watering Hole Saloon. I just played at Green Hall 
last week. We that played. had to be awesome. It right? was awesome, man. It was one of my favorite gigs. Was ever. that your first time there? Or? It was. I'd done some song swaps there before. Some friends it was the first time with my band, and it was just unreal. People are so receptive there, and they just sit and listen to your music. It's amazing. A so. lot of history's happened there. So absolutely, you, you, you're just waiting for more to happen, right? Heck yeah. <laughs> so uh, speaking of your band, so uh, what? When, this is a great uh, you know solo acoustic thing you got going uh-huh. on. But when you bring the band out there, what kind of experience is that? Um, we just picked up an amazing guitar player. He's pretty young, 19, and uh, just the energy that we have on the stage is is really good. It trades back from my vocals to his guitar playing, really solid rhythm section, all stuff you could dance to. It's just a really good time. Well, right on, man. It's really cool to have you. I see you brought gifts, man. Should I do this on the air? Absolutely, man. It's a gift from my sponsor, uh, Ranger Creek Brewing and Distilling out of San Antonio. And so uh, you'll enjoy some San Antonio lager there, hopefully later in the day after you're off air. (laughs) Look at this San Antonio lager. Look at this on the the camera so people can see it. We're on Facebook Live right now. There you go. There it is right there. Facebook, yeah, look on Facebook Live. We got Drew on the, on the <laughs> show on Robert McGill Radio. And there's some koozies over here, man. That's Drew right, man. It's got a, the neon hustle. It's got a beer clock on the bottom of the koozie, so you <laughs> always know when it's time to drink. <laughs> Beer clock we'll here. We'll give it away. It's all fives. All fives. That's <laughs> yeah. cool, man. That yeah. is wonderful. Thank you for the wonderful gift. You got it, man. We're going to use that today. We're going to share that in the office. Have a good time. Uh, once again, where can we find you online? Uh, DrewMoreland.com is the best place to find everything. Shows, videos, everything. Well, yeah. man, it's an honor and a pleasure to have you here. I really, again, I, I thank you just for making the trip and just stopping by to see us. You got the address. You do hey, Hank, let me in. You got to do it. And, Thanks for putting me on. And uh, I'm so glad you're on our radar now. I'm sure we're going to play your record some more. So once again, Drew Moreland out of here. Thank you. It's 104.9 Coyote Country. Let's look for some uh, King George here.